what's up guys and welcome back to the zg outdoors channel uh been a long time you know no see i guess uh we are going to uh, be doing another unboxing i will be getting back to uh, at least posting uh two videos a month that is my plan whether it's an unboxing or you know an actual like fishing video i have switched up uh where i work and i do work in the outdoors industry now um that's all i'll say right right now but um yeah so my plan is to get back to actually making videos doing things today we will be uh unboxing the octafo uh pro picks bait box I've got this at bass pro shop it is a bass pro shop exclusive uh that'll actually uh, it's not going to um uh, but <laughs> Either way, um, I did grab this and just like I was going up there getting some, uh, getting a few things. Um, I didn't realize that it said the contents on the back of it. I thought it was like more like a mystery box. Um, but either way, I'm very excited to uh, unbox this. Um, you know, it's got a couple of uh, Terminator spinning baits, uh, Pro Jig. Uh, Bass Pro Shop Wacky uh, Sticko Worm. It's got a few things, a few hooks and stuff. I won't say everything that's in it. Um, this is just basically going to be one of those things where I like to look and, you know, see things be maybe like be unboxed whenever I'm looking to buy something. Especially, I think this was $39.99. It is a $59 value. Um, but yeah, I like to look, you know, I watch videos on YouTube whenever I'm looking to buy something. I actually did not, I haven't seen one. Doesn't mean it's not out there, but I have not seen anyone actually do this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, and yeah, so with without further ado, um, <laughs> let's get into this. All right guys, I was gonna try to switch it up a little bit. Um, weather is not cooperating outside, so I'm doing this inside. I don't really know where I'm gonna do it, but Let's uh, go ahead and open this up and we'll just do it right here and I'll show you on camera everything that I get in the box. Uh, so, alright. So, fresh off, oh, that just comes straight out, so I'll hold it up. Um, that is everything that you get in the box, it is, you know, a pretty decent amount of things. Uh, so, we'll go over the hooks real quick and then I'll go over the lures. Um, I think that should be a pretty decent little uh, thing. So here we have, um, let's see, some Tokyo Rigged uh, or Tokyo Rig HD Wide Gaps, uh, three out, a two piece. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. This one we have the Weedless Nekos. Um, those I will actually use. I almost bought some of those the other day, uh, so glad I did not. Um, all right, we'll get into the, the hard baits and then, so we got a Rapala Tiny 4, um, let's see, OGT 4, does this have the brim color, colorway? Which should be d decent around here. We have the, oh, this one was actually open. Uh, the Slim 6, and that is, um, let's see, the depth is 6 feet, um, half, 14 grams, half ounce, um, circuit board lip, that's going to be a floating one for you, uh, that color is going to be the Root Beer Crawdad, which never used it, but that Root Beer Crawdad name just sounds right up my alley, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, then, one of my favorite things actually that I saw right off the bat is going to be the Terminator Pro Series Spinner Bait. Uh, it is a uh, quarter ounce, has two uh, is that willow blades, I guess. I, can't, I can never remember. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. Um, yeah, but either way, uh, the reason I do this come on and I love it is because white chartreuse and a little bit of pink is actually one of my favorite things to throw especially on a spinnerbait uh white and chartreuse over everything personal opinion uh when it comes to spinnerbaits at least uh, that is my favorite 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 uh, i don't think i really have anything 
with the like I have some with like that pink nose almost but I don't know if I have any that are actually with the uh, like pink in the skirt most of mine are white um, have a little maybe speckles of something but white and chartreuse primarily so I am looking forward to using that uh, so we do have the Terminator unique pro pros jig design and what color is this um, black poop blue purple oh it's a three eight, eight ounce uh, decent little jig do love a jig year round honestly um, that is something one of that and crankbaits are two things that I've told myself that I want to try to catch more fish on I just something that I know I can catch fish on I know that I have in the past but it's not there are two things that for some weird reason I just don't ever like if I'm out and about I personally just don't go oh I'm gonna throw a spinner or a, a jig or a crankbait uh, I would much rather <laughs> throw a spinner bait it was actually the first thing the white and chartreuse actually was the first thing that I ever caught my first bass on whenever I was a kid I uh, didn't even know how to really use it didn't have anything I literally went to Walmart unpackaged it threw it on didn't have a trailer nothing um, so yeah that's definitely something that I would like to uh, start using our jigs and crankbaits more often. I do fish them, but not very, very, very often. Uh, green pumpkin with magic pearl. Is that what that is? Um, this one's going to be a 10 pack of the six inch. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, that's going to be like the Wacky Rig one though, I believe. Or no, the Wacky Rig's the other one. So I guess this is just their, uh, their Cinco? Is that what came in here? Oh, no, let's see. Finnick Worm? Okay, never had them, but whatever. Uh, so these are going to be, uh, these are going to be the Sticko Worms. Uh, for the wacky rigs because they have the the part in the middle. These are going to be in the green pumpkin seed uh, Lovely, honestly, you can never have enough of these uh, Great great bait and I do like the uh, Bass Pro Shops version of them. So um, Yeah, and then last but not least we have the uh, Bohogs in a black and blue colorway, which are just going to be like a chunky trailer, basically. I would assume, um, at least that's how I'm going to use them. So uh, yeah, honestly, not a bad, not a bad box for 40 bucks. Um, I've definitely paid just as much, or if not more, for uh, a lot worse things. Um, I what was at the uh, oh, the tackle warehouse one or whatever that I opened on the channel was a lot worse and the same price uh, this everything in here honestly is something that I would personally use uh, so if you do you know shop at your local Bass Pro Shop get you know and you're looking for a box they don't really have a lot of like mystery tackle boxes or anything uh, has it like moved into uh, Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's at least around here if they are in yours you know that's completely different but I don't believe they even have them online uh, but either way honestly uh, 40, bu 40 bucks for this um, I mean I'd have to like kind of look up to actually see if you get like you know that value but you know to a little starter kit and you get a little bit of everything uh, great gift for a fisherman the Aunt Defoe's uh, Pro Picks uh, bait box so yeah um, like I said this is the ZG Outdoors channel we will be posting at least uh, two videos a month um, we do a little bit of unboxing I've done a couple like fishing videos I'd like to do some challenges and stuff like that uh, if there's something that you would like to see me either review um, try out or you know if you want to see like more fishing videos more unboxing videos whatever it may be um go ahead and drop a, li a like on this video and a comment um you know i have had some good uh, success with uh you know people like commenting and talking about the the boxes and stuff so yeah uh on defoe i would rate it a thumbs up honestly and um stay tuned go ahead and subscribe i do have a few more i uh got a little bit carried away uh, Carl's warehouse was uh, or yeah Carl's tackle warehouse or whatever it is uh, bait and tackle was doing some uh, Guggen sales so I got uh, the Mondo kit 
the go-to, and then a uh, bun bunch of other stuff, like a contender junior or junior contender or whatever, and then this came for free. So um, if you would like to see some more unboxings, I definitely have them, uh, and they, those videos will be coming up live soon. So um, yeah, go ahead and drop a comment, drop a like, drop whatever you want. Tell me you hated this video, whatever it may be. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, and uh, have a wonderful day, and hopefully to see you back soon. Peace.